And what about you two? How long have you guys been seeing each other? 15 years. How'd you guys meet? In a pub. In a pub. Classic way to meet. Isn't that? You married? No, engaged. Engaged. Oh, <laughs> how did he pop the question? On a plane back from New York. On a plane back from New York. Oh, that's quite romantic. Like, two people got excited about that. Everyone else. <laughs> no one else could give a shit. <laughs> Coming back from New York, eh? Cool. Well, were you just on a holiday there and that? And then, yeah. Were you expecting it? What, you weren't. Why did you go on the plane on the way back? You didn't think of doing it somewhere in the <laughs> the Big Apple itself. I mean, not to pick these things apart. You had a fight on the last day or something, and you get out of the doghouse. No, on the plane. Oh. Were you in like economy? Yeah. Right. Good. Got someone else's seat right back in your face, and you're trying to. Get that, can you put your seat up so I can get down on one knee? It's all right, nice. I'm surprised you didn't see it when he went through security. Did you have to tell security to be? Because in New York, they're proper. I don't know if you know about American air travel. <laughs> Suffered a bit of a blow back in the early 2000s. <laughs> since then, they've been a bit handsy at the old TSA. <laughs> to stick an engagement ring up your ass and try and get it through there. Those things. What do you do, big man? Cockler? <laughs> what the fuck's a cockler? <laughs> <laughs> that one of those people that goes down the beach picking up yeah. things? Oh, right, okay. I thought that was more like immigrant labour. <laughs> <than, laughs> from what I've read about it. No, no, you, you cockle, okay. I do a bit of cockling. Yeah. Okay. How long have you been a cockler for? On and off. On and off? <laughs> You're trying to get out the cockling game and keep dragging you back in. <laughs> Love picking up them cockles. <laughs> Has he got a big cockle? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, uh, fiance? I work for the lifeboats. The lifeboats? <laughs> oh! That's good. One person gave a little round of applause there. No one else could give a shit. Have you ever had to save him? No, no, no. Got caught out at high tide? Oh, you work for the lifeboat? I didn't think that was like a voluntary role. They are, yeah. They are? Oh, do you volunteer? No, I do like the press and PR for my work. Oh, the PR for lifeboats. You're like, we, yeah. we, what, what, what sort of PR have you been doing this week? What have you, what's the feel-good story of the week from the, from the RNLA? A plane ditched in Porthcawl. A plane ditched in Porthcawl? Oh, yeah. God. And I was like, they got flashbacks to the engagement there. <laughs> <laughs> dive, dive, dive. A plane ditch in front. Were they all right? Or did you have the to? The pilot walked out, yeah, but the crew just made sure everything was okay. Right, walked out. Why did they need the R RLA if he was on land? Fucking <laughs> 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 hell, our emergency <laughs> services are stripped back so far. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a plane crash into a mountain there. Send the boats! <laughs> <laughs>